Hey everyone and welcome back to Upload the Download and today I want to show you the all new features in the new Google Plus comment section on YouTube. Regardless of what you think of the new integration, it's worth checking out the new functionality it does offer. First up, let's look at the formatting. Comments on YouTube now have the same formatting options as on Google+. You can bold text by adding an asterisk at the start and end of whatever you want bolded, as well as italicized text by adding an underscore. And if you want to cross out text, you can use hyphens. Now, you can also disable replies to your comments. If you've written a comment on a video and don't want people replying to it, you can click the arrow to the top right of your comment and select Disable Replies. You can also disable reshares if posting to Google+. Comments now can be as long as you want and support ASCII drawings, which obviously has some negative side effects when people use them unnecessarily. Hashtags can now be used in comments for categorization. It brings up a Google Plus search with other content relating to the clicked hashtag. There is also now an option to mute users on any video. This simply makes their comment and all replies to their comment invisible to you everyone else can still see their comments. Comments can now also be edited, so there's no excuses when it comes to poorly written comments. Edit a comment that you've written by using the same down arrow in the top right of your comment. All comments that are replying to the comment that you've deleted are also deleted. Meaning if the comment that started a conversation is deleted, the rest of the conversation goes with it. Now you can post comments to videos that only people of your choice can see. If you want to talk privately about a video, you can do that with the Google Plus circle of your choice. The comment section now has a toggle that changes between top comments and recent comments. Top comments are influenced by your activity on YouTube as well as your Google Plus circles and show you comments that might be important to you. Comments that you write on YouTube will be shared straight to Google Plus unless you untick the share on Google Plus option before posting. However, if you reply to a comment that has been shared on Google Plus, your comment will appear on Google Plus. If you are a video creator, the new comment section allows you to moderate comments using filters, keywords, circles, review, or you can specify who can comment on your videos. Your YouTube channel could be configured to only allow comments from a particular circle on Google+. Also, when you visit one of your own videos, you will be able to review all comments that appear to be spam or use words from your word blacklist. Not only that, but in addition to being able to block users, you can now ban users from your channel. If you ban or block someone, they can still post comments on your videos, but only they and whoever they shared it with on Google+, can see them. Currently, the difference between banning and blocking a user is that when you ban a user, they can still send you messages through the YouTube inbox and Google+. But when you block a user, they can't send you messages through the YouTube inbox, but they can still send you messages through Google+. Evidently, this functionality of blocking hasn't been fully implemented at the time of making this video. Clicking the thumbs up button on a YouTube comment is directly converted to a plus one on Google+. The downvote button on comments no longer does anything. Comments can no longer be hidden due to negative votes. This hints at the decline of the dislike button. You can now more easily respond to YouTube comments on a mobile device through the mobile web interface or the Google Plus app. Now comments written in other languages can be translated straight from the comment section, though currently only a few languages work. You can now post clickable links in the comment section. If you paste a YouTube video link in your comment, it will appear as the title of the video you're sharing. Comments can now be replied to without leaving the page you're on. If you get a reply, it will appear in the notification area, and from there you can reply to the comment threads you're involved in. So there we go, hopefully this information has helped you out. If there are any features that you think I've missed, let me know in the comment section below. Even form a list if you have to. I honestly don't think we'll be running out of space down there anytime soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.